Hello everybody, Charlie here from Proponics. Now today's video is for all of you out there with a grow tent or grow room. Now it's a great thing to have for hydroponics, but simply putting your plants in is not enough. Like with everything in hydroponics, it needs to be controlled. And the temperature inside your grow room or grow tent is really important. So stay tuned to find out some key facts about the perfect temperature within your grow room or grow tent. The perfect grow room temperature is a delicate balance. Aim for around 25 degrees Celsius or 77 degrees Fahrenheit when the lights are on and a cooler 20 degrees Celsius or 68 degrees Fahrenheit when the lights are off. Falling below 18 degrees Celsius or 65 degrees Fahrenheit can slow your plant's growth and anything below 15 degrees Celsius or 59 degrees Fahrenheit might halt growth altogether, potentially leading to a recovery time of two to three weeks or worse, no recovery at all. But what happens if your plants get too hot? Temperatures that soar can stunt growth, cause leaves to drop or even prevent flowering. Keeping these temperatures in check can be tricky, especially in extreme climates. But don't worry, we've got all the tips and tricks to keep your grow room climate controlled. During winter, insulation is your best friend. It's all about keeping the precious warmth inside. Check and replace any worn out seals on your doors and windows. Don't overlook insulating your air ducts and if you're able, insulate the walls of your grow room for an added layer of warmth. Do you have cold floors? A simple fix is placing a polystyrene plastic sheet beneath your plants. And for the air intake, try sourcing it from a warmer space inside your home to prevent those temperatures from plummeting. Improving air circulation is crucial. A standing fan can distribute that warmer air evenly throughout your grow room. And a pro tip, put your exhaust fan on a timer, especially during off-light hours, to maintain a cozy environment without overcooling. If those winter chills are still creeping in, consider a heater. Tube heaters are a budget-friendly option for small spaces, though they can lack thermostat control, so keep an eye on the temperature. For larger spaces, a thermostat-controlled electric heater is your go-to, allowing you to set and forget. Summer presents the opposite challenge. A well-ventilated grow room is non-negotiable. But when the heat is relentless, an air cooler might become your new best friend. Window AC units can be an affordable solution, but ensure it's capable of cooling your specific grow room size. A swamp cooler could also be your answer. Utilizing the cooling power of evaporating water, it can reduce temperature by five to 10 degrees Celsius while slightly increasing humidity, which is hardly noticeable with proper ventilation. Consider the heat output of your grow lights. Metal halide and high pressure sodium lights run hotter than LEDs or fluorescents. Switching to LEDs not only reduces heat, but also energy costs as they're more efficient and versatile for all growth stages. And finally, adjusting your grow light schedule to nighttime can leverage cooler ambient temperatures and potentially lower electricity rates, making it a win-win for managing your grow room's climate. If you like what you just saw, go ahead and click the link in the description to find a full detailed article on this video's topic. And if you learned something new today, hit that like button and let us know down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more hydroponics educational content and visit proponics.co.uk for in-depth articles on all things hydroponics. Grow smarter with proponics. And until next time, happy growing.